Okay, hello my gorgeous people. We are here again with a, another DIY video. Why was my phone constantly go off? If you don't know, you do now. I have moved for the first time. Me and my friend moved in together and I am on a mission of just creating my room and bedroom slash studio because I'm gonna have to film in here as well. So today's DIY will be this beautiful dresser over here that I'm gonna redo. So stay tuned and watch. All right, let's get the supplies ready. So clearly you're gonna need some spray paint. So the dresser was already white. I'm just putting another coat down. I had bought the dresser second hand and it looked just a smidge dingy. So I'm just going over it with the white spray paint. And of course, you want your furniture to dry, so this is clearly sped up in edited version. But the dresser probably sat outside for about an hour, and then I brought it back in and it was nice and dry. So now we're moving on to the contact paper part. The contact paper, this one, I found this one on Amazon. I will make sure to link this down below. I will not forget. So you want to measure out your strips beforehand. And just like a sticker, pull the back piece off and slowly apply this because you do not want to have any bubbles when you're finished. Trust me, it does not look good once it is done. Another thing that I will recommend is probably getting some glue for this as well. Because once the contact paper is on, you're going to have to fold it over on the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You're going to have to fold it over on each part that you're using it on. And I'm starting to notice that the contact paper is lifting on the other side. So I would probably say some really nice adhesive would do you just right. Maybe some E6000 glue, maybe? Okay. Another thing you're definitely going to need is an X-Acto knife because once you get to the sides of you putting the tape down, you're going to have to cut it to make sure it's nice and aligned. So me, of course, I didn't have an X-Acto knife and what do I use instead? I use a regular kitchen knife, but job got done and I made it through. That's all you need to know. So now use the contact paper for everywhere where you want the gold to peek through. And then the next thing to do would be placing in the drawers. And there you go. It's all done and purdy. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one.